Hey guys and welcome to part 14 of the Brit Champ Championship. We're taking the Brit Lewis Hamilton to the top of the Drivers' Championship and hopefully our British teammate with our British team to the top of the Constructors' Championship. Now as you can see we got the results to Q1, again on the prime tyres as always. And we came 7th, obviously with just a banker lap, you know. I didn't need to set an ultra competitive time so I didn't. And Q2 similarly, uh, we get, we went about 6 tenths, 7 tenths faster than our last lap but... You know, it got us into fifth. So Q3 is when we actually sent the proper fast lap in with the with our ultra aggressive low downfall setup, and that put us into first by three and a half tenths. And bearing in mind the AI set that time on the option tires, and we set on the prime tires, that's really quite impressive. And then we got a 32% chance of rain. Now I wouldn't look too much into it because even Belgium, it didn't rain there when there was I think a 27% chance of rain. So. You know what, I've just given up hoping for rain now, knowing what this game's like, so there is a chance of rain, we'll see where it actually comes this time. And as you can see, we've got the strategy we're paying in on lap 6, even though the game's telling us that the option tyres won't last 5 laps, but I reckon they will, because it's a pretty low tyre wear circuit, especially if we're on the lowest downfall setting, as you can see there. But we're going to go out onto the track for the legendary the Monza circuit, nice. one that should uh, uh, one that should favour our Mercedes engine, McLaren, quite well, and one that um, I reckon I've got a good chance of winning. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, we actually had a good qualifying showing from our teammate there. Um, which is, you know, always impressive. Obviously, after the um, dismal performance button had last race, where he finished, I think, 19th. But anyway, we're going now. The last race is in the past. This race is what matters, as we're going to come down to the first corner, whatever it's called. And Velt was actually coming alongside us. Is he going to outbreak us? And he's not, but we've actually outbreaking ourselves. And we've... Oh, no, Vettel's gone out onto the gravel, and, and a Ferrari spun out there, I think, in Massa. Now, what has happened there? We're going to see the replay now. And as you can see, I outbreak myself and trying to rejoin the track. Accidentally falls Weber out white. No, um, Vettel out white because Vettel tries to go around the outside of me. Although, well, I mean, well, actually, no, not although. Look, you see, Vettel tries to come around the outside of me, but I'm running wide, obviously, after the poor exit um, to the corner before. Go out, and then you've got that Ferrari Massa spinning there, and you know what? It's just absolute carnage just happened behind me. Although, what is important is that um, whether it was our fault or not, I personally don't think it was. Vettel tried to go around the outside of me and it didn't work. I didn't run him out wide, I just understeered off. But Vettel has dropped down the order massively. I don't know where he is, but he is long gone, which obviously for the Drivers' Championship, with, he, with him being our championship rival, is obviously very key. And we're skipping on to lap 4 because absolutely nothing happened. Also, we got Button in second, so we could have another McLaren 1 2 here. And is, um, is Button going to come into the pits? This is um, the lap the game recommends coming into the pits for for the options. It, rec it recommends it can only last four laps in a 20% race. So I'm guessing Button's going into the pits. I don't really know. Well, Kubitza was in second, now Button's back into second. So. I think Button's going to his pit stop. Yeah, he must have done it yeah, because he's been passed by Degrassi. And Coverline is in fourth now, so he's been passed by um, the prime runners because obviously the back markers go on prime tyres just like we do. And now we're going on to the start of lap six. And the important thing here is that Button has got past Degrassi and Button's got back into second, so we're back um, in line for a McLaren 1 2 position here, which would be brilliant I don't think we've had a McLaren 1-2 actually since Monaco and then that race actually was um, me as Hamilton who came second that race so I think this could be the first McLaren 1-2 this season um, in which I'd be first and Bowen would be second which would be brilliant obviously for my hopes in the Drivers' Championship and obviously McLaren's hopes in the uh, Constructors' Championship and as we're four and a half thousand feet ahead of Button it looks like that we're going to stay out ahead of him and we've got a 5.1 second stop, not the quickest we've had this season from the McLaren pit crew. And obviously we got our quicker option tyres on now. 
with Button actually catching up on us quite a lot actually. It says he's 19 seconds behind Bob, so that's going to be a lot less now. And we've and Button's just behind us, but we got distracted by that. Misjudge our breaking point, completely cut the corner. And apparently the game's going to give us a penalty for that. And I didn't actually gain much time out of that corner cut. I don't, I don't even think I gained any time out of it to us, and it was just a genuine mistake. And a 20 second time penalty is very harsh, I'll be honest, I think, from the FIA. But as you know, this season the FIA have screwed us over on multiple occasions throughout this career mode. Um, so we've got to see if we can put a 20 second gap to our rivals, and that's actually now the new key point of this race. Um, so we are on the quicker option tyres, which is what we've got obviously over our AI who are on the uh, slower prime tyres, but still gaining a 20 second advantage is going to be impossible, especially as we're only 3.3 seconds at the button, but Kubitzo is 11 seconds behind us, and obviously, as I've said, he's on the slower prime tyres. So if we can pull out another, a further 9 seconds on Kubitzo throughout um, the remaining laps of this race, we could still actually nab second place and still get a McLaren 1 2. And with Button, is dro well, Button's dropped back behind us because, well, we can't see him on uh, the mini map. And how many seconds behind us is he? I guess we'll wait for that to come up. And we've run over the, um, the sleeping policeman, obviously, the speed bump, and we've spun because of that. The FIA, they see, that's a note to the FIA, they should get rid of those. Um, sausage curbs or sleeping policemen, whatever you want to call them, because as we've seen in Formula E, they can be drastic, and as we've seen here, they could screw over my chances of getting a second place this race. So, you know, someone make a video of that, post it to the FIA, and tell them why we don't want sausage curbs in F, um, well, in any motorsport, to be honest. But anyway, that aside, this little protest aside, I'm going to try and get past Button, but obviously our lead over Kubitz has um, dropped down to 7.2 seconds, so gaining um, you know, enough advantage over Kubitz is going to be near impossible, especially if we're going to be held up by our teammate going through Parabolica, and we're coming down the first straight, we're going to slipstream Button, and surely we should be able to get past him, and yeah, but that was an easy pass on Button, but hopefully we won't. Uh, misjudge a breaking point into this corner this time and no we've made it nice and well and almost ran over the sausage curb again there but you know luckily we didn't spin out that time and with um, that was a start of the last lap now we're going on to the end of the last lap um, now obviously we haven't gained 20 seconds over um, but and we'll probably kibitza but we could still get a podium bearing in mind the 20 second penalty but for the minute we crossed the line in first Well done, mate. 12 points in the bag. So, as you can see, um, that 20 second penalty actually dropped us behind Sutil only by a couple of seconds, but unfortunately, it isn't going to be a double podium for us um, because I came fourth um, thanks to that penalty. And Weber came down sixth, but more importantly, Vettel actually dropped out of the points entirely. He's in 11th. <laughs> obviously, you know, he, he was obviously a bit too eager to make the move at the first corner. And that cost him dearly. Um, but so we gained 12 points over our championship rival there. Or they could argue Button's actually a championship rival on us and gained on us. But anyway, thanks to that result, we are now only 10 points by Vettel. And going on to the constructors, we're actually level with Red Bull. So it's all to play for in these final few races between us and Red Bull, because Ferrari and all the other teams are miles out. So if you like this video, then like it, leave a comment, and I'll see you next time for part 15 in the Singapore Grand Prix.